Hello guys and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be going over a little bit about functions and we're also going to be doing a uh, teleport script for our uh, game here or little place. So pretty much what the script does is basically what it sounds like. It teleports a player from one part or one area to the next area. And it's really easy, really simple to do and a lot of people that know scripting, like just the basics of it, the basics of function and values and stuff like that, var variables, this is pretty easy and it's really easy to do. Um, so what we're going to do uh, is go into this part and we're going to insert an object. We're going to insert a script here. We're going to uh, remove this hello world, this print hello world. We don't need that. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, pretty much write out our function. Uh, there's two ways of doing this, but we're going to do it the easy way. We're going to do script dot parent dot uh, touched. You know, so if the player touches it, uh, connect open bracket function. Uh, it's right here. We can just double click on that. Open bracket close bracket, and we're going to name this. Um, let's name this uh, TP. <laughs> Actually, let's name this teleport. There. So now that we got that out the way, we're going to drop a few lines here, uh, about f mm, four or so. Uh, and then we're going to do if uh, teleport, pretty much the name of the function up here, if teleport dot parent dot uh, find first child. So we're going to be finding first child and we're going to look for the humanoid in the player. So there we go, it's gonna find the humanoid. It's gonna look for the humanoid. Then, uh, let's, let's go put a space there. Then, let's go down here to our other line. Um, teleport, the name of our function up here, dot parent, dot uh, torso, because we wanna move the player's torso, uh, and C frame, pretty much where the position would be at, equals, um, C frame again dot new uh, open bracket close bracket so in here we pretty much got the script down oh let's make sure we add another uh, in here guys but pretty much we got our teleport script down and ready but what we're gonna have to do like if you guys notice it's not gonna work so like if we were to play the game and the part that we put it in, let's see which one. I should really move these closer to spawn. <laughs> we put it in this brick, I believe. Let me let me see. Is it this one? No, it's this one. Okay. So we put it in this brick. Now when we walk over it, you know, pretty much nothing is gonna happen. We're just gonna get teleported right back to our little spawn because it doesn't we have a set a destination, an area that we want to teleport our player to. So in here we're going to pretty much put in a uh, position. So let's grab this part right here. We can use this as our uh, position or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and then we're going to put this uh, way over here. Actually, you know what, guys? I got a better idea. We're going to delete this part. We're going to duplicate this one so we can have the script again. And we don't have to pretty much rewrite the script or copy it. We can put it right here. And then what we're going to do is go into our properties. Now look for the position. Here we go. We got our position. We're going to go into back into our script. Uh, that's this part over here. And we're going to paste in our position right here, right in between these brackets. So pretty much when a player walks over this part, they're going to get teleported right here to where this part is at. Now we're going to move this part over. Because if you guys don't, pretty much the player would just keep teleporting back and forth, back and forth really quick. So that's really annoying. So we're going to move this part right here. Now inside of this part, we're going to paste the position of this part. Probably a little bit confusing, but you can, you can work with me here. So we're going to move this uh, right here, even though that's not really where we should move it. But we're going to go into the script of this part. 
and we're going to paste the position where that other brick was. All right. So pretty much, uh, let's go ahead and set our spawn right here because that is annoying to have to walk all the way over there. So pretty much, what will happen? So if we walk over this brick, we'll get teleported right over there to where it was before. Uh, man, I should not have moved that brick right there. But if we walk on this brick, we get teleported to where this brick was before. And that's pretty much how you do it. It's really easy, really simple. It doesn't really take that much, uh, you know, scripting knowledge, Lua for to be exact to uh, do this. It's really easy, really simple. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, for this video. I mean, it, doesn't, it wasn't really much I was going to show you guys. Uh, just pretty much how you can teleport player from one part of the map to the other by using this little um, script or function. Um, if you guys want to make more videos like this, you know, I could do stuff like health GUI, Twitter codes, you know, stuff like that. A little bit more advanced uh, stuff. I could also do uh, what you would call it more functions like uh, let's see for example when a player walks over this part it sets off this uh, function or something or this variable um, so let's let's give you guys another example if I were to walk over this brick uh, let's say we had like a fireworks right here you know a little firework gear or something I don't know we walk over this brick that fireworks shoots up in the sky goes off we can also do the same thing with that uh, with function so if you guys want to do something like that a little bit more advanced just let me know in the comments below and I will do it but pretty much this is just to show you guys a little bit about scripting and that I do know how to script because some people do have their doubts um, but this was really easy to do really simple I didn't want to make something too you know complicated to uh, I guess you say advanced because there's about three levels to it guys there's the easy stuff you know level one there's like somewhat hard stuff like for example making a camera position like script like I say we want the camera to lock like this you know we can't move our camera enough and it locks like this that's a little bit harder that's like a medium level two and then we have level three where you're like basically making scripts like uh, let's say let's, let's use phantom forces for example you're making scripts like that you know custom swords custom guns you know all that other stuff that's really advanced but um, I'm going to quit rumbling on or whatever the fuck you want to call it. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if this helped you out or if you enjoy it. And that's it. See you guys in the next video. Peace.